Welcome to my channel. Today, in this session, let us discuss about the swing equation. So, the swing equation is explained by the means of flow of electrical and mechanical powers in case of single motion. So, we are going to discuss the equation by means of the single motion. Okay. So, before going into the discussion, we have to have some assumptions in making the single equation of the single mass machine. The assumption we, which assumed is that vintage and friction losses is negligible. This is the first assumption. And with this assumption, we are going to have an equation, first order differential equation for the single mass machine. Okay. For governing the equation, let us take the differential equation of rotor dynamics. So this equation we have discussed already in case of the discussion of dynamics of single mass machine. The rotor dynamics equation is given by j d square theta m by dt square which is equal to the mechanical torque minus the electrical torque. Okay. So theta m is the angle in radian that is in mechanical radian. This is the turbine angle and Tm is the torque in Newton meter. The torque occurs the negative value when it is having the motoring action. When it is having the generator action, it has a torque of positive. Similarly, T, Te is known as the electromagnetic torque which is developed in Newton meter. This also occurs in negative case while it is considering oil, it, it is having an motoring action. Right? So, with the rotor dynamics, let us be going for the rotor speed. The rotor speed changes in an insufficient manner due to the change in, in the case of time with respect to the case of speed. Okay, the speed of the rotor changes with respect to time. So the equation, in order to have a constant speed, we are going to assume that the rotor speed remains constant and we are assuming that constant speed as the synchronous speed and denoting this as the omega s. Okay, so since we are assuming the speed as constant, that means that it is running at the synchronous speed. The equation 1 becomes as, <coughs> we are mentioning as J omega SM. This denotes the motor is running at the case of synchronous speed. And D square theta M by DD square into 10 power minus X, which is equal to the PM minus PE megawatt. Okay. So, in case of torque, we are mentioning the dynamic equation in case of flow of power, that is mechanical input to the electrical, difference of electrical output, which gives the moment of turbine speed, that is rotor speed is nothing but the turbine speed, which is running at the synchronous case. Right here, Pm is equal to the mechanical power input, in megawatt and the electrical power output in megawatt this is considered by the means of state of copper's loss is assumed to be negligible right and from this expression the equation 2 we are rewriting in the terms of that means this is the, we have written this in terms of electrical equivalent that means one Mechanical radiator, one electrical degree, one mechanical degree, which is equal to 2 by P the electrical degree. So we are converting the one mechanical equivalent into the electrical case. So we are substituting here the 2 by P the whole square omega s into 10 power minus s d square theta e by dt square. So that this angle is nothing but the electrical case. In order to convert the mechanical radian into the electrical radian, we are substituting this 2 by P there, here, right? And this will be equivalent to the case of M. 
right and this is nothing but it is a measure of this m is the measure of angular position of rotor with respect to the synchronous rotating plane okay so the when next we are going to write about the rotor angle displacement delta e expression this is given by theta e minus omega st consider this is the equation 4 right so omega st which represents which is running at the synchronous speed that is theta e is an angle in electrical uh, uh, radian okay by differentiating the equation 1 and equating d square theta t by dt square we get this which is nothing but d square del by dt square d square del by dt square is nothing but the uh, angle in mechanical which is equivalent to the angle in electrical okay so substituting d square theta e by dt square as d square del by dt square we get the expression as m d square del by dt square which is equal to pm minus pe in megawatt right so this delta is nothing but the it is known as the torque angle or power angle this is the signification which we obtain okay so whenever we are substituting the m which is equal to h by pi f our single equation is rewritten as h by pi f d square del by dt square which is equal to pm minus pe so once String equation is asked, you can write both the expression either as m d square delta by dt square or h by p f d square del by dt square. These two are the, the string equation and it describes the rotor dynamics of the synchronous machine either in the generator or generating or in the motoring. Right? The obtained expression is nothing but a second order differential equation where the damping time is absent and the assumption of lossless mission and fact the damper rending is also ignored. So what else are considered here? It is a second order differential equation. Here damping time is absent and also the assumption of a lossless mission. In fact, the torque of the damper rending have been ignored. Right? This assumption leads to that the transient stability studies okay so in order to this only we are undergoing for the transient stability studies in case of the synchronous mission and the damping helps to stabilize the system which damping in the here we have assumed that the damping the, the, the damping is nothing but it is lesser or it is ignored since damper winding is ignored in the damping is also Ignore. Okay, so this assumption results to the uh, transient stability of the system and also the uh, damping helps to stabilize. The damping must be in, in post considered that dynamic stability of the stem. So, damping of the synchronous machine leads to the dynamic stability of this uh, stability analysis in general. Since we have the string equation which relates to the generating or the motoring action of the synchronous machine, it says that it leads to this transient stability analysis. That means in case of transient stability analysis, we have to analyze the damping case as well as the, the case of lossless of the machine. Okay, since the, we have two assumptions, this leads to the transient stability. If we are going to consider about the damping of the synchromotion machine, we also have to analyze the dynamic stability of the machine, right? And in general, by considering the swing equation which we have obtained, we conclude that the swing equation is a nonlinear second order differential equation okay so this nonlinear second order differential equation is linearized for analysis right this is the basic for the case of synchronous mission which we analyze in case of transient and dynamic stability okay in the next session 
let us discuss some more things about the stability of the system and also let us discuss about the case of expressions which we included in the case of dynamic stability and also in swing equation with this here let this solve some in a numerical examples if you like this video like share and subscribe